the winners of the summer giveaway we did a couple weeks ago were picked. So it is in a picture below in the description of this video. You can check the picture to see if you won, if you guys did enter. So congratulations to all the winners. All the emails have been sent to all 28 winners. So make sure to check your email if you want. But uh, yeah, let's get to the video. Anytime an update is announced, the items that have something to do with that update usually rise in price. And it's always like that because it's just the hype that is built around that item or the update itself. A great example of that is when Monkey Madness 2 came out and it was also announced that Javelins were going to be involved in the reward. So, it, you know, the Heavy Ballista would be using Javelins. Javelins rose in price and people began investing in them, hoping that they would go up. And they did. They really did go up in price. And those who made the most profit were the ones who invested in them early but then the people panic buying them at the end ended up losing money but yeah like i said it always has to do with the update and the prices always rise recently a dev blog came out i believe that talked a lot about a new construction update and in this construction update there'd be a bunch of new things you can add to your house which would actually make it worth going to your house often rather than just using it for your occasional glory or portal teleport and also new rooms and all this other stuff and obviously with all this construction hype construction items are going to go up and what's the probably the most known construction item, I guess, would be, I mean, hammer and saw maybe, but planks. Planks are heavily involved in construction because you need planks to build almost everything in your house. So with this announcement, obviously everything rose in price, especially the planks. Mahogany logs were going for around 320 GP before the update was announced. And then after it, about a week later, they're going for almost 800 in the Grand Exchange. So if you made any sort of investment in planks before this update, I give you props because a lot of them rose in price. Now I didn't invest them, obviously, I'm not a great investor, throwback to the Barrows teleports, but I wanted to try the new sawmill that was in the woodcutting guild. Obviously it's a lot shorter run to the bank than the one in Varrock, and with planks going up in price, I definitely wanted to try out the sawmill to see what kind of profit I would make. Now usually what you do is you buy the logs on the Grand Exchange, so you usually buy the mahogany logs on the Grand Exchange, or you buy oak logs on the Grand Exchange, or if you want to make the maximum profit, you cut it yourself. And since mahogany logs were going for so much in the Grand Exchange, I basically thought that it might be better just to chop my own mahogany logs and just try to make as much profit as possible from this plank making method with the new sawmill. Now, the only issue was is that mahogany trees aren't really located in many areas that are at least close to a bank. You have the Taibo Wanai area that you can go in there and chop trees and you can actually send logs to your bank with trading sticks but it wasn't really worth paying in the trading six since you would have been not losing money, but it would have been as profitable. There's also someone like mostly harmless that are just way into this dungeon yet. And then you have to go up a, like a ladder to these trees. It's just not even worth it. Now, the other area that there's street that are mahogany trees are on Apatol. And obviously Apatol is there is a new bank there now, but they're not close to the bank. You still have to go through the gate and then run on the way to get there. I basically just want to get an inventory, go to the bank, bank them all, and then run back to the trees. Just a really quick process of, you know, just wood cutting, really simple. But it looked like there wasn't a quick way to do it until I realized that in the Arcade spellbook, you have an Apatol teleport. If you have 90 magic, you can use the runes to teleport there. If not, you can just buy the Apatol teleport tab on the Grand Exchange. And where this teleports you to is the first Monkey Madness tunnel. So in Monkey Madness 1, there are obviously the tunnels you have to go through to get to Zunok. And where this teleport takes you is basically right next to the ladder that you have to go down to get into these tunnels. So when you teleport there, you basically teleport not right next to the ladder, but pretty close to it. In fact, you can see it in the same screen when you teleport there. So you just climb up the, cl ugh. So you just climb up the ladder, and then all you have to do from there is run a bit northwest to this mahogany tree that is near the gate. And now you just keep chopping this tree down. Obviously, if it despawns, it doesn't take too long to respawn, so it's not really worth hopping worlds. But I basically just got a full inventory here and then used my crafting guild teleport from my crafting cape and then bank there. Went back with my Apatil teleport. I just got my runes in a rune pouch so I didn't take up too much inventory space. And then went back the ladder and ran back there. And I think this is probably the fastest way to get mahogany logs. If not, it might be faster to do the Taibo Wanai thing, but again, you have to use trading, trading sticks to bring them to the bank. So I just like this method a little bit better. Obviously, you have to account for the runes that you use, but I don't think it's too expensive to teleport to the Apatol. And if you're using a teleport tab, it's like a 4K, 4.5K teleport tab. At the moment, it might, got, might have gone up in price a little bit. Either way, this is, I still think, the fastest way to bank if you're, if you're doing mahogany trees. So I chopped 540 logs until I started getting a little bit bored and figured it'd be best to switch over to the sawmill. And what you guys do at the sawmill, obviously you guys have all probably done plank making before in the past. All you do is bring your type of log there that you want to turn into plank and then a cash deck and then you'll right click on the guy by plank and then choose the log you want to turn into a plank. Now I was doing mahogany logs. So per log, it costs 1500 GP to turn into a plank. So per inventory, since I had 27 mahogany logs in an inventory, I was spending 40,500 GP. Now, obviously, you're losing money to start off, but then when you sell them back to the Grand Exchange, you'll be making your money back. 
the sawmill in the woodcutting guild is noticeably quicker and it's going to be quicker because it's a woodcutting guild it's, it has requirements to get in here it's going to be faster than the one in varrock that has no requirements i managed to change the 540 mahogany logs into mahogany planks in about 25 minutes which was definitely a lot quicker than you can do in varrock and it cost me 810k to change all those logs into planks so when we went to the grand exchange and we sold those 540 mahogany planks i managed to sell them for 1,302,330 GP. And obviously mahogany planks were going for quite a bit because the construction update was announced, like I said. Now, obviously you have to take into account the 810K I spent on changing those planks, or sorry, changing those logs into the planks. So if we subtract 810K from those, or from the 1.3 million, we managed to get 492,330 GP. And that's not pure profit. Obviously you have to take it into account like the stamina's I used when running back and forth from the bank to the sawmill, also the runes I used to get to the bank when chopping the mahogany logs. But so I'd say this, I profited around 400 and like 50, 460 K from doing this. And this was done in about an hour and 20 minutes or so. So not that great a profit. I was actually expecting a bit more, but still profit. So I was pretty happy. Looking back at it, if I would have just straight up sold my mahogany logs to the grand exchange when they were going for almost 800 each, I still would have made quite a bit of profit and the profit, the extra profit I would have made from turning into the planks actually may not have been worth it since you have to take into account all the time that it takes to, to turn them into the planks. So yeah, I think I actually would have been better off just selling the logs to the Grand Exchange, but whatever, no big deal. So what I want to try now was I want to try buying a thousand oak logs and a thousand mahogany logs from the Grand Exchange and then turning them into planks and then selling them back to the Grand Exchange. Now, since I chopped the mahogany logs myself last time, I obviously am going to make more profit, but it takes a lot more time to chop the logs rather than just buy them from the Grand Exchange. So the time I was chopping the logs could have been time spent changing the logs I bought from the Grand Exchange into planks at the sawmill, if you guys know what I mean. So I wanted to try it out sort of both ways. Now, I decided to do oak logs and mahogany logs just because I want to see what kind of profit both were going for because oak planks were extremely expensive and oak logs uh, did go up a little bit but weren't too expensive. So I bought a thousand of each. So the mahogany logs cost me 629k and then the oak logs cost me 69k. <laughs> and changing a thousand of each of these into planks took me a little over an hour. It's actually very quick to change all these uh, into planks as, as long as you're paying attention and you're using stuff like mouse keys and you're keeping up with your stamina potions. But a little hour and a half, I'd say, is probably more accurate. Now, it cost me 250k to turn all those oak logs into oak planks, and then it cost me 1,503,000 to change all those mahogany logs into mahogany planks. Now, when I sell these back to the Grand Exchange, you can see that I managed to make 730K off the oak planks. Now, that's pretty nice, but we have to take out the 250,000 GP we used to turn them into planks, and then we also need to take out the 69K that we used to actually buy the logs. So, at the end of the day, I profited off the oak logs, 410K. Off the mahogany logs, I managed to make 2.4 million or 2,445,000 GP, and then I had to take out the 629K and then the 1.5 mil from changing them into planks. So off the mahogany logs, I profited 313K. So actually doing oak logs was more profitable. Who would have thought? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so obviously you're making profit on both. Both are decent profit, but in this case, the oak logs were making me a bit more, probably because more people buy oak logs since it's a bit more affordable. And it's, I guess it's, I don't know if it's more efficient to do oak logs, but you definitely save a lot more money than if you're doing something like mahogany tables. Uh, instead of oak dungeon doors or something like that. So yeah, anyways, this took me about, I'd say two hours complete, maybe, probably a little bit less, more like an hour and 40. And from these hour and 40 minutes, I managed to make combined from the oak and mahogany planks about 720K, which was all right. But for all that effort and for all the trouble, it wasn't even trouble, it was just a lot of clicking. Uh, 710K, I was probably expecting a little bit more. Now, prices are probably skewed a little bit because of the update, and I'm not sure if this is an accurate price for plank making at the sawmill. It probably isn't. I still managed to make about 710K, which is what, like averaging 360K an hour or something like that. So not too good. I definitely expect this bit more. Actually, when the Woodcutting Guild first came out, I did some plank running back like right away when it came out, and I managed to make about 700K in an hour. So prices have dropped in terms of the 
plank making for now, but I'm sure it will go back up again in the future. But still an interesting video. I want to see what you guys had to think about it. I still found it interesting about that getting a method of obtaining mahogany logs, which is I think probably the fastest one you're going to be getting. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, definitely a fun video to make and something I do again in the future. If you guys have any suggestions for sort of money making, let me know below and I'll make sure to check it out. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time and hope to see, yeah, I already said that. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one and peace.